Hey fellow bookworms, so it's me, and today I'm going to be reviewing Insurgent by Veronica Roth. This is the collector's edition. So shiny and beautiful. Turn off the video if you have not read this book. So, in the beginning, Tobias and Caleb are talking, and Caleb's like, Don't you think you're a little old to be with my sister? It's just two years. It's not a big deal at all. He, he doesn't really have room to be like a protective older brother because he's not even a full year older than her. He freaking betrays them all in the end. Were you upset about that? I was upset about that. I was like, Caleb, why? I've had it about up to here with brothers, older brothers, betraying their little sisters. Because I've read it in a couple other books, too. Ah, it was upsetting. I don't even think I would be able to forgive my brother Daniel if he did that to us. I'm not even sure. Reading from Tris's perspective, I'm sitting there like, Kill him, Tris! Kill him! <laughs> like, he's her brother, but he betrayed them. And he was just gonna let her die and be executed. What the heck? Ugh, and then there's Marcus. I just wanted him to die. I wanted to push him and Peter off the train, but then they end up playing an important role in the end. On page 50, Tris runs into Tobias's room. All that stuff happens. Sleep, he says. I'll fight the bad dreams off if they can't, if they come to get you. With what? <laughs> My bare hands, of course. When he told her that he loved her before she went to sleep, she was like, maybe I would say it back if I was more cognizant. Maybe. No, why maybe? You should say it back anyway because you know it's true. Triss's father was erudite. This is what I said in my divergent review video. And she finds out that her mom was born into Dauntless. I was thinking, you know, since since Caleb picked erudite and then Triss was actually divergent for Dauntless, erudite, and abnegation, I was like, I wonder if the dad was born into erudite. I was right again. Because I was right about four being Marcus and son Tobias. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> when they were fighting, when Tobias was like, I can't believe you went off and did that without telling me and that kind of stuff. I was like, oh my gosh, get over yourselves. Couple fights are only allowed in real life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I hate books that are like, oh, everything's perfect. The only reason that any trouble, any conflict would come between us is if, oh, I, I'm, I just, I just, I can't be with you because I will hurt you. I have to leave to protect you. Something has come between us. We did something and now we're not allowed to touch each other because otherwise we'll die. We can't be together because our love is cursed. I can't be with you because you're just a, a mere mortal, and I am something magnificent. And then it gets resolved in the end, and I guess they humble down a little bit and decide, I, I guess I can let myself fall in love with a mere mortal. When Christina runs into the room after she found out that Tris killed Will, she was like, come on, uh, Tris, we have to go to the roof. And they're going up to this really high roof, and I'm sitting there thinking, like, why are they going to the roof? What's on the roof? I was so afraid that she was just gonna, like, push Triss off of the roof. You killed Will. <laughs> now you have to die. But no, she forgave her. Yeah. I was happy that she did not kill Triss. And then she goes to the Erudite headquarters so that nobody else would have to die. And then Tobias goes after her. Even though the whole reason that she went was because she didn't want him or any of the other Divergent to die. And then he just follows her. So now there's two Divergent that are gonna die. Even though they don't, obviously, because there's gonna be a third book. Then, with the whole, like, ultimatum thing, where he was like, if you do one more stupid, risky thing, we are over. So I thought that after they got out of the situation at the Erudite headquarters, I was afraid that he was going to dump her. He follows her there, and then they get out. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> that would have been sad. But no, that didn't happen, luckily. I love how Fernando is like, Come on, insurgent. He says with a wink. 
What? I say? I take his arm and slide down the side of the truck. He's like a walking dictionary. Insurgent. Noun. A person who acts in opposition to the established authority who is not necessarily regarded as a belligerent. I love when authors make playlists to go with their book because I just downloaded every song from both the Divergent and Insurgent playlist and I've been listening to them nonstop. For a while. Thank you, Veronica Roth, for doing that. I love authors who do that. It's awesome. I hate... I don't like authors who don't do that. Just kidding. Allegiant comes out October 22nd. It doesn't come out until October 22nd, 2013. Why? Why can't it come out now? I'm gonna read it now. Right now. Well, I'm very glad that it did not leave off in a cliffhanger with the relationship because... It only got resolved, like, two pages before the end, and I was like, <gasps> No! No! He can't just be mad at her! How dare they? And then, I was like, oh, I do know who you are. I just need reminding. And I was like, finally! Two pages left. Almost had a heart attack. But I was gonna have to wait until October 22nd to find out what happens between Triss and Four, and obviously I will have to wait until them to find out what happens, but at least I can be satisfied for now. They are still together. I don't even know if I can muster the strength to read another book for a while. Like, I don't know if any series is going to be good enough after this, because they're just so good. Divergent and Insurgent were just, like, so good. I don't think I'm going to be able to read another book for a long time. Okay, not a long time. Actually, I'll probably start reading tomorrow. I'm going to be ex too excited about the next book. And also, I don't want to be disappointed by the next book that I read because there was such a high high expectation set with these books. So, yeah, I'm going to go. Happy reading. Bye.